Hey guys. Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary the Impressionist here with Gear Bear Vlog number six. Now you guys might notice that I'm probably not in the same environment that I usually am. And that's a bit more noisy, I'm probably gonna have to speak up. But that's because it is first Friday, or at least it was first Friday. I meant to film this yesterday, but I couldn't because my camera was running on power, silly me. So I'm doing it today. And today is the Saturday after the first Friday of March. Anyway, every single first Friday of the month, I'm going to be going here to a local cafe called the Mean Bean and filling my vlogs here. Hope you guys like this. I'm probably going to have to speak up because it's a bit noisy here at the moment when it usually is. So, that's what's going to be going down. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, let me explain what First Friday is. First Friday is something that happens downtown in my hometown every single first Friday of every month. Um, people just stand outside the sidewalks doing fundraisers and everything, having special events. There's one area, there's one music store that plays music with people throughout the whole night. And a lot of people come down here and it's pretty fun. I tell people at my school that um, if they want to do the vlog with me every first Friday, then they need to be at the Mean Bean from 8 to 10, if not on Saturday from 8 to 10. So that's basically what's going to be happening from now on. People, you might see people guest starring in my vlogs every first Friday. I don't know. We'll just see what, what comes up in the future. Okay, let's get down to shout outs. Um, shout out to, first of all, big shout to my entire Spanish class of my class. Let's see, he consists of my friends um, Nathan, Jake, um, Gretchen, Angelico, um, Jordan, Avery, Taylor, so many people. There are a lot of people in that class that are, I find enjoyable. So shout out to all of you and to the whole class. And shout out to the teacher, Ms. Soselko, whether or not she wanted the shout out. I don't know, peer pressure. <laughs> but anyway, just a whole shout out to the class in general. I hope they like it. And what's up, guys? Shout out to my friend Ian Lips, who wanted me to give a shout out to him for the longest time. Sorry for missing you, Ian. I hope you like the shout out. Uh, shout out to my friend Mariah Swisher, who showed up about five minutes before after she ran all the way from the movie theater to the end of the block where this cafe is. Don't know why she'd do that. She and her friend, I think it was Taryn. I don't, I don't know what her name was, but I forget her name, but. Her and her friend just ran in from the movie theater right down the block, and they showed up like a few minutes before I started filming this. So I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I don't know why you guys did that, but whatever. Anyway, shout out to them. How are you, gorgeous ladies? Let's see, am I forgetting any shout outs? Um, um, I think that's about it for shout outs. If I miss anyone, please remind me. Write it down on a piece of paper or something, or maybe tell me and I'll write it down on a piece of paper because I'm still trying to get the whole memory thing going and I can't make the shout outs too long, otherwise it'll take up a lot of my vlog, so thanks. So guys, you might have heard recently that the Lorax, Dr. Seuss's The Lorax came out in the theaters recently. I just felt like talking about this because it was something that was going on and that people have been going to see. I don't know what it's like. I mean, I haven't seen The Lorax. At all, I mean, I've read the book, definitely. The book was pure genius. But I don't know about the movie. I saw a review in New York Times by a critic who said it was pretty childish and loud, and that it doesn't really show the message too well. I mean, I don't know how the Lorax is supposed to go. I haven't read the book for a while, and I don't know how the movie's supposed to be. I might go see it soon just to test it out. But it seems like, from the review, a kind of kiddish, kind of up-to-date kind of thing that this time period would have. So I don't know. I don't know how I'll think about it. I might go see it. We'll just see. There are some movies I want to see. I think the movie's called John Carter. I'm not sure what it is. But um, I really want to go see that when it comes out soon. Because it is March when it's supposed to be coming out. So hopefully it'll come out soon. I'm trying to get comfortable. This isn't working. Okay, guys, you might have seen in my last vlog also that um, my my antagonist, Levi, came in. Yeah, his name's Levi, just to set the record straight. He came in and told you to watch his video. He is going to be in a video soon. So, sorry. Um, so he is going to be in a video soon, and hopefully you guys will laugh at that video. He's pretty much an evil character. I don't know when his video will come out. I have to get done with my next impression first before I do any comedy videos. So we'll just see how that goes. By the way, um, you might have heard that these are winter vlogs, and that's basically what I'm going to be sticking with. 
that is basically what I'm going to be sticking with. These are going to be strictly winter vlogs since there's not really much I can do in the winter but vlog. So in the springtime, I'll do one last wrap up vlog and then from there on out there will be an easier time with production of my impressions and comedy. So, even though my vlogs might be gone, we still have the impressions on the comedy to go through. And maybe I'll do some challenges. I still have to upload a milk challenge video that I did last weekend. In fact, I had a vlog about that right now. Um, me and my friends, Spencer Martin, uh, Andrew Ward, uh, Taylor Henderson, Hunter Red, we all went to, I think it was Andrew's house, and we all did the milk challenge. If you don't know what the milk challenge is, is that you have to drink a whole gallon of milk in an hour, which is impossible, supposedly. I thought it was pretty easy since I drink milk every single day, hence I haven't broken a single bone in my life. But apparently the lactose gets to you and it's not easily digested. So yeah, that kind of screwed me up. I threw up at a half and a fifth a gallon. I don't have the video for that. My friend Spencer has the, has the video for that, which hopefully he'll give to me so I can upload. But you'll be seeing the first part of that vlog soon, and when it's up, I'll put a link in the description where my finger's pointing at this point in the vlog. So hopefully when it's up there, you guys will go check that out, or go check it out now if you're just seeing it, the vlog now. Sorry if I have to keep switching camera angles. It's just it's hard to get comfortable here. Everything is edgy. Like, not even just stylish edgy. It's just hard to get my arm in a comfortable position. It's difficult, I don't know. There are, there are a lot of cops outside. I think someone's calling me. Oh, hi. Um, I think we have a visitor. Hey, do you guys mind being in a vlog? I'm filming right now. I'll go over there, stay there. Okay, guys, we have special guests. Hi. Hi, special guests. How are you doing? Yes. I'm good. Um, this is Megan. Yeah. Or Meg. Either one. Vananda. I don't, I don't know. Vananda. It's hard to say. Somebody call It is hard to say. Yeah. But yeah, that's one. Who are you? You're you're Emily's sister, yeah, right? You're Sarah, Sarah Brush. That's Hi. right. So anyway, yeah, two people, two guests. Didn't expect to see them here tonight, but it's cool because anyone shows up from eight to ten while I'm vlogging, they get to be in it. So it's good. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. He's in my shot. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, did anything happen with you guys, this, with you ladies this weekend? Like, anything? We saw the Lorax. Oh yeah, I was talking about that. I don't know if I'll go see the movie. So New York, do, what do you think, what did you think of it? I thought it was, it was pretty good. It was kind of cheesy. Yeah. Like, did it, um, did it portray the, um, the story in any kind of way? It totally changed the story, but it was in a good way. It was a good, uh, you should see it. I, I don't know, New York Times critics are saying that it kind of went downhill with the story. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like it, like it doesn't really portray what it's supposed to. Yeah, it's a good movie. 